it's me, Kix. And today we are doing the love hate rice experiment. So basically what this experiment is, is you cook rice, you put it in a couple of jars. You will need three to be exact. One you write love on, one you write hate on, the other one is a control. And you tell them every single day for a month, the jar that says hate on it, you just tell it the most disgusting, disturbing things. The one that says love on it, you just love it so much every single day. And the control, you do nothing with because it's a control. And what's supposed to happen, or rumor has it what will happen, is the jar that you write love on will stay fresh and preserved because that's the power of love. And the one you hate is supposed to be rotten and disgusting, just as the soul you put into it by giving it all that hate. Um, I've seen this experiment before on YouTube. I don't know if it, uh, you know, if it was an honest experiment or not, but today we're going to find out. And by today, I mean, we're going to start today and it's literally going to take a month. We'll have our results. Uh, we'll see if the power of love is preserving and strong, if the power of hate is moldy and mildewy and disgusting we'll find out if you want to do this experiment yourself this is what you're going to need rice uh some water and three jars and like a sharpie and a pot to cook it in i'm going to cook two servings of rice just to make sure that i have enough you know, put a sufficient amount in each jar. So I need three cups of water. I'm gonna boil that, and then after I get my three cups of water boiled, then we'll dump in um, the rice. So I'm gonna get this pot cooking, and um, see you guys when it's uh, time to dump in the rice. Okay, so my water is boiling, as you can see. We need to add Two cups of rice. Get this party started. Oh no, I knew that was gonna happen. I just knew it. I felt it in my soul. So I'm gonna under pour this one just slightly since I had a little mishap the first time. So all the rice is in the water. Okay. We bring it back to a boil. And then basically we just simmer it for 20 minutes after that. Then we'll get our simmering. We can go in ahead and label our jars and yeah. Okay, so I would say that is back to a boil. And so let's turn it down to simmer. Put a lid on. Check back in about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna go grab a marker so we can label our, our jar. All right, I'm back. So we'll make this first one the control. We're going to love this guy. And we're gonna hate this guy. Now, after I seal these jars, I will not be opening them until the month is up. However, I will just be telling them like terrible things or lovely things or nothing. And we're gonna see the power of love. And then we'll know. Okay, so I'll see you guys again in about 20 minutes. Okay, so the rice is done. I'm gonna put it in the jars and I'm gonna leave the, leave the lids off until it cools down because otherwise it's gonna create condensation. So we're get this experiment on the way. Uh, when I close them off, I might start telling them how great or how terrible they are. I'm just gonna do like one scoop and the love, one scoop and the hate, one scoop and the control, and I'm just gonna repeat this method until I get them all filled up, and then. We're gonna do the experiment. Yeah, that's how it's gonna be. So, anyways, this was great. I'll see you guys later. I'm actually really excited about the results because I haven't seen videos like this on YouTube, but I don't necessarily trust that they did these. 
experiment. Like, I don't know. We'll see. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hey, welcome back. It's been four weeks since we performed, since we cooked the rice and jarred it up. And I have the results. I have to warn you, they are somewhat surprising to me. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get right into it. So we'll start with the control jar. Here's the control jar. I just ignored this jar for the four weeks. And as you can see on the top here, there's a little bit of rotting occurring in the rice. And there's a spot right here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's also a spot right here where the rice is beginning to turn. Okay, next we will move on to the hate jar. Now I told this jar the most god awful things every single day, how much I hated it, how ugly it is, how terrible it is, how much I hate it, and as you can see, it's considerably more rotted than the control jar. It has several dark rotted spots throughout. This is by far the most rotted jar of rice. This all came from the same pot. It cooked all at the same time. I just put it in separate jars. And this is my love rice. As you can see, um, there's little to no rotting in this jar. It is still very pristine. It looks like you could literally just eat this rice. I told this rice how much I loved it, how special it was, and how amazing it was every single day. And um, the results are what they are. You know, they're pretty staggering. This one's slightly rotted. This one's not rotted. Whereas this one, the one that I told horrible mean things to is very rotted. So, the conclusion I come to from this experiment proves that um, words and feelings do manifest into physical characteristics. I've seen this, I've seen this experiment performed on other YouTube videos. Um, they were lacking a control jar, which I think is pretty important for science experiments. But the results were still the same. The love jar is always, like, it looks fresh and brand new. The hate jar is always far more rotted. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think it really proved something. I have been keeping people that I work with posted on my experiment. And it's funny because I work with, um, a few atheists and, um, if you are atheist and that's your thing, I mean, that's you. But um, the thing that I find funny is like, atheists are supposed to be the science people, right? Like, But the thing about science and science experiments are that um, you're supposed to do the experiment and follow the results. I mean, you can have a bias of what you think is going to happen, but you're supposed to ultimately follow the results of your experiment. And I found it interesting because the um, the people that I work with that are self-proclaimed atheist were like, that's not real. You're doing, you're opening up the hate jar and spitting into it. That you just got lucky. Like, it's just interesting that they can't even believe when an experiment clearly shows you the results. I have my control, it's a little rotted. I have my love, which is so perfect and beautiful and special in every single way. And then I have my disgusting sack of shit that I hate. And the results speak for themselves. Uh, I highly encourage all of you to try this experiment, especially if you don't believe it, because I mean, seeing is believing and 
the results show what they show. So, in conclusion, I say treat everybody with love and kindness and respect and don't rot their rice of their soul, you know? So anyways, this was a good experiment. Thank you so much for watching. As always, laters!